Hey guys, we're back with another DWTV, and you back there? Yeah, I'm talking to you. You better listen up. Yeah, we got a great show for you this week. Whoa, whoa, Jacob, I'm having some major deja vu right now. Someone is about to walk in and say, Hey, don't, don't forget, forget to tell them about, about semi-formal. Semi oh my gosh, how'd you know that? I don't know, that was really weird. Well, all I know is that semi-formal's coming up. Take a look at this. Man, Simi Formal is going to be the best this year, but of course I can't go. Man, did you not clean your room again? Funny. No, my mom is making me pay for my semi formal dress this year. And how am I supposed to do that when I got one, two, three cents in my bank account? Well, I mean, have you heard about the dress closet downstairs? No, what's that? You can get a semi formal dress or a prom dress for free. For free? For free? For free? Yeah, for free. I am pumped. Will you come with me during lunch today? Yeah, sure. <laughs> It's like a whole nother world in there. I'm so glad Mary Page told me about that closet and now I'm for sure ready for semi-formal. Are you going, Jacob? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm already there. Okay, okay, enough, Jacob, come back. All right, now we're going to Ian and Mary Crosby for the man on the street. I'm stuck with the man on the street, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we went around asking students different Thanksgiving questions. So what's cooking good looking? <laughs> My favorite Thanksgiving food is stuffing, and it's stuffing, not dressing. My favorite Thanksgiving food is mashed potatoes. Let's see, my favorite Thanksgiving food is probably between the ham and the yams. I'm most thankful for Miss Justice because she's like really nice. My favorite teacher is Miss Perry because she's really sweet and I love her class. Most teacher I'm thankful for is most likely Miss Norris. She's probably like the best teacher here and she's like, she just always want to make sure everybody's staying on track and doing what they're supposed to do and she's always like there to help all the time. I listen to Christmas music after Thanksgiving. Uh, you can typically listen to Christmas music about two to three weeks before Christmas. Before then, you know, so you're not in the right season, the, the Christmas festivities definitely begin two or three weeks before. That's when you can start listening. I start listening to Christmas music after Thanksgiving. I watch actually both the Macy Day and NFL because my nana watches Macy Day and I like football. I watch the NFL on Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving, I definitely prefer turkey to ham. It's a better bird. Um, I like roasted turkey because it's better. <laughs> wow, they had some pretty interesting answers. Case, Lisa, and Addison said Dr. Plumlee had some good ones too. I enjoy kids. I enjoy um, I enjoy laughing. I enjoy having a good time. Um, 
I just enjoy making a difference, hopefully, in, in kids' lives. So, you know, for me personally, 15 years from now, people aren't going to remember much about what we talk about in class in terms of history. But they remember how people treated them and how they were, um, and how they were treated. So hopefully, hopefully, make a difference that way. That's, that's a pretty deep question. <laughs> well, I wish I'd have known about life. I'm still in high school. But the biggest thing I would just I would have enjoyed the enjoy the moment. That was that would have been the enjoying the process. You don't realize right now you have four years, and then life gets complicated. Enjoy it. It's not going to be it's not going to be like that forever. Uh, we talked about poor. I, I I grew up pretty poor. Um, and we were country poor, which is a little bit different than, because I mean, you still had enough to eat, but you raised it from the age. Um, I think the realization came when I realized that my father worked as hard as he could, um, but he didn't make a whole lot of money, but he still gave it the best effort he could. So that, that taught me that, 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 that no matter what, you still try, you still try to outwork people um, in, in anything you do. Um, all right. For me, it would be a man named Jerry Henson. He was a he was one of my coaches. I coached in baseball and and football. And another guy named Malcolm Singleton who coached football and wrestling. Um, and they would just push me in a way that would kind of that's like iron sharpening iron. And they would push me in a way that would that would um, force me to grow. And, and I still remember those lessons today. And just the other day, I saw one of them, and we were able to talk about those things and. And I constantly remember back, hey, this is what they would have done. This is how they would have done things. I think I had a good realization this summer when we went to Hayden of um, what's important. Um, I think it's a good realization of understanding that the world is not about that dollar. It's not about, it's, it's like we just discussed on this, it's about relationships. You know, because when you're, when you're laying on your deathbed, you're not going to ask to see all your houses. You know, you're going to want to have people that you care about around you. So I would say being thankful for your family, um, which is cliche, but um, the relationship with people that I've come to know, kids I've got to coach, um, people I've had to work with, that would be the most important thing to be thankful about. So what about you? What are you most thankful for? He reminded me how much I have to be thankful for. What are you thankful for, Emily? I'm really thankful for when all my family gets together and like tells the craziest stories, even when I've heard that one like a thousand times. That's true. Thousand time stories are the best though. One time, me and my family, we had a turkey, it burnt all the way. So we had to pull out the fire extinguisher. Nuh-uh. Hold up, that reminds me, our sports this year have been on fire. I don't even think a fire extinguisher could put it out. Like, check this out. <laughs> Uh, hey, my name is Ben. I'm a senior here at Daniel. I play shooting guard, and I'm really excited to start getting in region play and all that jazz. I'm here with Brayden, and uh, I'm a sophomore. I play power forward, and I'm just ready to get to bike this year. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Uh, I really <laughs> am looking forward to playing Ren and Seneca this year. Uh, I think it's going to be a good little game. Hopefully, we'll catch that dub, get out on top. Oh yeah, Greenville's number one in the region. They got that target on their back. We coming for them this year. You know, I couldn't be any prouder of our Lions. I know, tell me about it, Jacob. Like, cross country, winning state, I'm so impressed. Exactly, like we always say, hashtag one Daniel. You know what represents hashtag one Daniel? Coach Touchberry and Max, along with some other basketball players. Get a look at this. <laughs> Hello, I'm Coach Touchberry, and I'm doing the Not My Arms Challenge with Max May. Thanksgiving, best time of the year, you know? Oh, that was poor. Yeah, I really like uh, whipped cream. It feels like it's really good uh, for more. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's really good moisturizer on your face, really- Oh! <laughs> Wait, I moved, I put my hands up! <laughs> mm, yeah. 
I know, that's enough. And you know, later on you can just get some nice moisturizer. I'm not sure what that was, but it feels really gross. I don't like macaroni. I don't like macaroni. What's I'm different? I want finger food. It's a really good moisturizer, really helps with acne, releases the pores, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you know, on you know, Thanksgiving Day, stuffing, you know, <laughs> I like it on my nose, kind of looks like boogers. I don't really know, I don't know how to Oh, yeah, you know, you just gotta smash it through. <laughs> Can't use silverware. Don't use silverware. Just don't. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't use silverware. <laughs> and then when you're done with that and you think you got everything else, you just gotta put it all in your face. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Thanksgiving. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Bye, happy beautiful time. Bye. Well, that's it for this edition of DW TV. Have a great weekend. Wait, I think someone's been watching us. Wait, where? Is there someone in there? Oh, hello. <laughs>